Hey everybody, Master Sukuri coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. Special announcement for all my Patreon people. Um, I have my notebook with me and I'm going to have, have some things I want to share with you that are just going fantastic. Before that, I just want everyone to say my wife and my beautiful daughter, she's hiding back there. Not hiding, but she's doing behind the counters. They've put up this beautiful new, it's like a, a tape. Like a, like a sticker, but it makes the wall look fantastic. All right, let's get right to it. Let me get a better angle over here so it looks better. Not that I'm going to make it look any better. All right. So, because of the amazing sound studio, I know I've said this a million times, but you guys, my Patreon family, you guys are amazing. Um, here's a little tour. The full sound studio is about... 2.5 meters by little over two meters. And when you come inside, you can tell that I've put all the different soundproofing so that I can get done. And of course, my Yeti microphone, which is amazing. Eventually, I'd like to get another one so we can record two at a time. Now, what's going on here? Hold on. We're going to have to turn on the lights. Forget that real quick. Hold on. So. What's going on right now is that I finished the new CD. The new CD, I love it. It's uh, it, it took a long time. Some music I recorded before, but I redid it and I remastered and I reorganized it and put some new twists to some basic Afro-Brazilian concepts, right? And today what I want to show you guys is a little bit of what I used on the new CD after I tell you guys a little bit by each track, okay? Let me get this going. So, it's an instrumental CD. I'm not really singing, but I do have a couple of tracks. I want to add some vocals. And those special ones will be available for you guys to digitally download here on Patreon. So, even if you're $3, $5, $10, you'll be able to download the extra uh, Patreon-only tracks with some vocals. Like, I was thinking about doing La Bamba on one track and Marinero mixing it in, and it just came out really well so i'm going to re-record the vocals edit it a little bit more and you guys will have access to that um this week or next week i'll be taking the picture for the cover of the the new cd when i put it on spotify so you guys will also get a a good chance to see that and they see the background because i got something really special planned with my wife we're going to take a little one day trip just to take the picture for the new cover and the new cover, I'm hoping to do it at the, we call it Daibutsu, Daibutsu Mama? Daibutsu? Daibutsu. Daibutsu. It's the giant Buddha in Kamakura. So we're thinking of going down there. I'll get a beating bar ready, and I'll take a nice cover picture for the new CD. So uh, this, is, this track, this CD, really going to be stuff that, that lives in my head all the time. For example, the first track... It's called Maracangalia Afiado. Afiado means sharpened, like a knife sharpened. And Maracangalia connects to a very um, famous character, Bizono Maganga, in Capoeira culture. So it's, it's inspired by, by his story, but also the tough, um, the bass is the rhythm is Santa Maria. And this is a rhythm that was used when we used to train with knives or razor blades in Capoeira back in the day. So you're going to, you're going to, you're going to see the, the heavy tribal beat in the poly in the in the polyrhythmics, the polyrhythmic uh, bass that I've put into it. A lot. It's very heavily Afro-Brazilian uh, musical concept bass. So I hope you guys like it. Maracangalia Afiado. The second track is called Mushongo. Mushongo is an African word that we use in Brazil, and it means kiss, right? And I use a heavy apanha laranja, which was used. The rhythm was used for capoeiristas when they played the money game. So back in the day, and even now sometimes, you put some money in the middle of the joda, and the sneakiest one, the best capoeirista one, would pick it up with his mouth and keep the money. And I'd like to start doing that again here in jodas. Then the third track is, is something that we always used to do when, when we would play capoeira music, and my friends would visit who are samba musicians. So it would be like a when the samba people come, and they, and they, and they bring their energy and their music, to capoeira, so it's called capo samba. 
capoeira and samba mixed in together. You know I love the tribal rhythms, Ijesha. Ijesha, I did a track called Ijesha B-Side. And it's Ijesha, but what if you could do it for like a performance uh, thing? This is something that a person can use for, for Afro-Brazilian dance, for hip-hop, for whatever, and mix it in. And it's a great track to really give it a nice uplifting beat. Then I took the Congo, Congo rhythm and I made a track called Buzio. Buzio are the, the cowrie shells that are used in, in divination uh, to divine. Uh, when you're doing like, like it's kind of like candomblé or Afro-Brazilian religions are used, like the cowrie shells are thrown to see the future. Bayanese nocturnal. Bayanese nocturna means like Bahia at night. And just in my head since I was a kid, just the sound of what Bahia's sound is. It's just always there, very samba, reggae, Afro-Brazilian. Then I put a, another one called muamba. Muamba is another African word used in Brazil, and it means contraband. So it's, it's not that I'm stealing the rhythms, but these are the rhythms that everybody uses. They're, they're like popular culture, and I brought them together so you guys can see how it works and how they flow together. And then finally, Dende Zuador. I took my three favorite uh, Afro-Brazilian samba reggae rhythms and I mixed them in. And it's a very heavy, heavy tribal beat. I mean, when you hear it, you're just going to be like, like you know, just going to want to move and stuff. So I got all of that going and it's going really fantastic with all of that. So I'm doing the artwork. Hopefully we'll take the picture next Sunday if it doesn't rain. And this will all be digital downloads that only you guys here on Patreon can do. Um, once I release everything, then I'll wait a little bit and then I'll put it out on Spotify and all that. But the extra, the extra songs that I'm going to do that are digitally, you can digital download here only on Patreon will be some vocal stuff that I'm going to put together, especially for you guys. Okay. Guys, again, I just want to say thank you so much. We got people who, you know, support me with $3 a month on Patreon, $5 a month, $10 a month, and of course, $25 a month. I really believe that Patreon has really become like my, my fun focus. It, instead of running around and doing a million things, I just do for the people who I know really want to see what I do and support what I do. Most of the stuff I do, of course, will be out there later on Spotify, but there'll be some few special things going on just for you guys here on Patreon. Lots of love, lots of capoeira. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys soon.